Can I, can I respond to what he said? I can, I can answer the stack. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I actually, as a point of process, I have a, a really big list here for stack, and I'm wondering if anybody has any blocking objections to me starting to do weighted stack, so people who haven't spoken yet can speak first. Does anybody have any objections to that? Okay, because I, I am noticing that some people who want to speak are being uh, uh, are lower down on the list. So, with that in mind, I'd like Felicia, uh, you'd be next on stack. Okay, thanks. Um, I was just wanted to say that whatever we do, can we make sure it's like worker friendly? Because yeah. I do have a job, and it's like I work 8.30 to 8.30. So, I need to be able to do something on the weekends, or like 9 to 5 is never going to work for me, ever. You know? So, that's all I wanted to say. Pavel? I, know where you went. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with Felicia, but I also wanted to uh, go back to what Albert was saying and uh, and Heron. Uh, I don't agree with you know staying here 24 hours a day just because it is getting cold. I agree with doing the shifts and and doing it during the day whenever when you know whenever you guys can show up. But I, I do agree with the shifts. Okay. Uh, you over here in the Olive Jack. What's your name? Kate. Kate. Um, I think we all are aware that Buffalo is a city of working class people. You know, you're not the only one. We're all, we all have nine to five jobs, and we all want to be here. We all want to be doing things, but we can't. And we keep talking about, I mean, we can't be here all the time, is what I mean. And we keep talking about outreach, but nobody's really put something forth yet. So I'm going to go ahead and say that I'm willing to start a Tumblr to uh, do a blog carnival. If anybody has their personal blog and they want to write something up. What's, what's your name? Kate, I will take contact information I'll give you my email I will start a Twitter I can you you know if anybody wants to help me in that I am definitely willing just to head that up we okay? have so contact me afterwards because let's actually start reaching out to people we have to contact them and yes we have to keep meeting and we have to keep organizing and we have to keep talking about what we're gonna do but we also have to talk to people about how they can do it you know so if all we do right now is just write some things on the internet and pass them around then that's a great way to get started. Awesome, thank you. Um, also, uh, gentleman with the camera next to Kate. What's your name? Ed. Ed? All right, just a few things. Uh, first off, to reiterate, the law is not neutral. It's on the side of the 1%. The way to solve that is to get here on good principles that appeal to everyone, be extremely nonviolent, and make the state push us out. This is all about building affinity, and you do that by making a good victim, honestly. Uh, the next two things, focus and support. We need focus. This should be all about money and politics because without that we don't solve any of the other issues that, that we care about as you know creature, political creatures. We're all out here. Uh, focus, support. We need local labor. We need local student groups. We need the police on our side eventually by being nonviolent. But anyone else who was here for the Wisconsin Solidarity protest, people of our affinity, we got a ton of people out here for that. We can do it for here in October. But we need the support of local unions, local student unions, groups, working class people. Last thing, uh, and that could include maybe even reaching out as misdirected as many of them are to the local tea parties. Sure. They're misdirected. Yeah. But my God, they, they're working class people. They have the same problem the Tea Party started, anti-corporate. It was misdirected to be anti-state. But, you know, they agree with us on many on many things. Maybe worth being the first Occupy group to really reach out to them. Uh, the last thing, beware the internet, especially social networking. All your friends are self-selected to be people who probably agree with you anyway. The way you really get attention going, well, first, it's good for getting people out here as allies, but if you really want to get attention going, you get on the news, because that's what the people who may kind of agree with you or don't agree with you are going to see what you're about. Be very wary. I, I do outreach for a local nonprofit. Be very wary of the internet and social networking, because it's people who agree with you anyway. You're going to be talking in a circle. We're also being followed. I think we go over stack as it stands. I reformed it a little bit to give preference to people who haven't spoken as much. Adam, Marina, Tim, Albert, Robert, Christina, Henry, Carly, John, and Josh, I just added you. <laughs> Sound good? So Adam, wherever you went. Can anyone that's speaking really use their inner voice and really project themselves? Because I feel as if some people are not really being able to hear, hear you. But that's all I wanted to say. Um, I'm really excited to hear that we have so many people here with capacities um, that involve being able to get the word out on internet spaces and web forums and other kinds of media like that. Um, I can't wait to see the different forms that all those productions take because they're always really creative. Um, 
and successful, I think. I think it should be a part of a more robust strategy for outreach. I can tell that's like one of our primary concerns here right now. And we have to remember that the things that we're protesting against, the people who are most disenfranchised and alienated because of the way things are, don't have the kind of access to the internet and those social medias that a lot of the people out here do. So we need to also find people with capacities in terms of being spokespeople for their neighborhoods, people with ties to their community that are face-to-face -face ties. We need to also build that in our own communities where we live, go to people's doors, talk to them, like shake hands, meet people, and go for that more analog, I guess, kind of outreach. I think that's how we're gonna really grow numbers. Because a lot, something that's really been missing from a lot of these protests and these occupations and these other shapes that are taking uh, place across the country are like the poorest of the poor, the people really with nothing, the people who are subject to police violence every day on the streets because that's where they live. Like those people need to be made visible as part of our effort so that we appear a lot more universal than you know, because that's we really are universal like that, and we need to make that a visible component of our actions. I just wanted to say that. Marina. In regards to Facebook, um, you can never underestimate the impact that you're going to have on people that see what you put on your Facebook page. I have been bombarding my Facebook page. Water. I am surprised that friends of mine haven't deleted me. They might have hovered over the button, <laughs> <laughs> but they haven't done it yet. Um, because they've been so persistent, which is a calm way of putting it, um, somebody that I haven't even met that I became friends with on Facebook through a, a local friend of mine started commenting on what was going on over in New York City and the other areas, and he's a retired policeman. Well, he ended up going ahead and going to Costco and buying supplies and taking them down to the people over in New York City, which would never have happened if I didn't bombard my Facebook page. And I got a friend of mine over in Boston involved in the um, the Occupy Boston because it just started. She saw it, I said, for my Boston friends, and now she's involved in that. So, so never underestimate the impact that you have. Tim. Regarding focus, I'm not. There's different opinions about how soon it, we should focus and so forth, but I think, as the brother in the green hat in the back said, I think it'd be great if there's one thing that we agree with the Tea Party on. If we could have a 50-50, thousand Tea Party, thousand of us. Do do, do they agree on uh, no more corporate citizenship? There's libertarian reasons for that, right? Can we find a focus that that will? Uh, fertilize and help cultivate everything we want, you know, uh, that, 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 that's more broadly shared. Is it possible that our friend here, I, I forget what your organization is, but... Move to amend. Move to amend. I mean, is it possible that this the move to amend could be the focal point for the Buffalo Occupy group, even if it isn't for everywhere else? I think it would really increase the chance of getting the right wing out here, and if the right wing and us are are standing together, maybe we'd quit demonizing them and they'd quit demonizing us. Finally, there's two people here to shoot video really thoroughly, and I don't know who they are or what they're going to do with it. So would you please identify yourselves and tell us <laughs> what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're talking about me? My yeah. Name's, my name's Ron from Stop Police Corruption. Um, you can uh, Facebook me. Did you just say no? Did uh, you say that again? There, there needs to be... Ron. Ron. There needs to be uh, people here with camcorders. This is the safest way to protect uh, from being arrested. All right, I've been arrested a number of times uh, uh, doing protests. So um, I, I suggest if anyone were to get arrested, it would cost probably at least $1,000 between the court case. So to invest in a camcorder for $500 with a, a you know, a, a drive on it that says, has a lot of memory, mm -hmm. it'd be, uh, you know, wise to do. Uh, Jeff O'Connell, um, I'm using this camera uh, borrowed from Squeaky Wheel in order to record the event, but... Point it at your face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Turn it around while you're talking. Well, sure, yeah. <laughs> Jeff O'Connell, here with Squeaky Wheel, uh, borrowing their camera in order to record the event. I'm not quite sure how we'll be able to use this footage. But please give me some suggestions and feedback afterwards. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What is cool. Thank you. Thank you both. Thank you.
it's a media organization. So, uh, Rick, Response to my suggestion about the focusing on uh, the amendment. So that's a proposal. You're proposing yes. that we focus. Uh, is there something specific that you want to sit like? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't expect it to pass, but I'd like could uh, the and amendment corporate against corporate person. citizenship be the primary focus of of Occupy Buffalo? As an example, or the one right now? That, that's it. Okay. Can I just say something? I have posters here that if anybody wants to just look at what our posters are, if there's stuff here for, because uh, we, we um, jumped in and uh, we were at the Labor Day Parade, so we made posters, like this is just specific to move to amend, but I have uh, a couple things here that we made up that might be a uh, corporation. Corporations don't believe that might not be specific to you, but we have end corporate rule. Um, Money is not equal speech, um, and I'm not saying these are the best posters. We, we made them up on the fly, but um, legalize democracy. <laughs> um, any of you, these that you like, you're welcome to use. Um, overrule the court. This is specific to Citizens United ruling, which is coming up on its two-year anniversary, which is what got a lot of people involved with the Move to Amend group. Uh, exercise your democracy muscles, which I totally think is a relevant to, <laughs> relevant to this. And um, corporations, corporation does not equal person. All right. So, cool. So, any of these that in these interesting. Um, All right. Around, so similar to what happened last time, as in this vote, I'm gonna go on block. Are you going on stack? Or are you putting your vote, Aaron? Oh, I was going on stack. stack? Okay. So I see a block here from Nick. I'll just speak to why I would block that. Um, what, what's happening in New York is people are pressuring them to put out a very specific set of demands, and they're resisting that. And the reason that they're resisting that is because, for one, this is a huge, huge thing that we're tackling. We don't want to box ourselves in. We don't want to narrow the scope. I think focusing on message is very important, and we could narrow and get a laser-focused message. But as far as what our demands and what we're trying to accomplish, that's a really huge, complex web of stuff. So I would say I don't want to put any one demand. Uh, a big part of that, too, is that if we put out some demands that we think are kind of crazy, and it's only halfway to where we want to be, what if they satisfy those demands, and then we're only halfway to where we want to be, and we've lost all the momentum to go all the way? So I, I want to say that like I am not for putting that as a specific central um, thing for Occupy Buffalo, but that it is in addition to. Yeah. So that's that's my response. I want to hear Nick's block and then uh, see what our, our stack situation is. I think as simple as we can put it, as almost as vague as we can put it, the more likely we can get like Tea Partiers involved. These are people who are willing to come out. Tea Party people come out. They're politically active. Maybe we think they're misguided, but if we can bring them together just by saying, we're dissatisfied, you're dissatisfied, Let's like work together because there's something wrong here, and we can work together to try and fix this. Cool. Are there any blo other blocking people that want to say something really fast? Ed, something. do you want to say something? Yeah, Brian. Real Brian, quick, go for it. Real quick, it's just too early. It's too early to, yeah. to yeah. align yourself with anything. Let's let it let it build. So if there's nothing else on that, I want to ask to to if there's a way you could reframe the proposal for how a uh, move to amend could be involved. So, so right now the proposal has been denied that it is the central tenet of Occupy Buffalo, but I think people are very much interested and, and very much in conjunction with what's going on. Yes, is, let everybody think about it, and the next time we get together, uh, find some way to make, make make things work. Maybe that can be one little one little thought in the whole package. I mean, one, one thing that I can say as far as to rephrase the proposal is to have that as one of several means of outreach and one of several goals. So not to say that this is the central goal, this is the only thing that we're working on, but to say that this is an example of what we're talking about. Yeah, and if right. I may, the words goal and demand have both come up, and protest, demands for protest, that's valid, good, let, let's, let's do them. But also, goals can be conceived of differently. She wants to be upside down. <laughs> She's kind of a contrarian. I don't know where she gets it from. <laughs> So goals and demands, two different things, both good. Uh, let's advance with both of them clearly in mind. All right. So we're back to we're back to regular stack. I've added a couple folks: um, Albert, Robert, Christina, Andre, Henry, Carly, John, Josh, 
Nicholas, Heron, Jean. Guy the Sabres hat, what's your name? Uh, I was going for the mini staff. Okay, so, so you want to take off. Uh, and yeah, it looks like it's it. So, Albert. So, I wanted to make a point about language. Language is really important. Part of colonialization and globalization of capital has been the co-opting of language. So it's very important that we uh, that we speak symbolically when we speak, when we interact with others, when we're talking to media. And what I mean by that, for example, one of the things that I think the Wall Street protesters have right is this idea of the 1% and the 99%. Yeah. And every time somebody asks you why you're here, it's very, very simple. Yeah. Because I'm the 99%. We that's why I'm here. You know, yeah. it's very important to keep that message. That's a global message. It's starting to come out, and it's a very good one. And it's one that resonates across political boundaries. And you know, we're just having this conversation about should we, you know, how can we interact with the right? It's very easy to interact with the right when you start talking about things like ending the Fed and, and ending some of these ridiculous, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, invasions in our in our um, in our rights or taking our rights away. The, the right is all over that. That's the kind of stuff that we're, we, we share. The, the move to amend is something that I've heard people on the right talk about. So, so language is very important. Um, the other thing I wanted to bring up is just some more proposals for actions um, that we could do together. Last year, a group of us had a Buy Nothing Day action at the Boulevard Mall. Yeah. Where we, that was the day after, you know, Black Friday, the day after uh, Thanksgiving. We, had a, we protested consumption. And we were on the news. We made it on the news for that. So that's that's an example of something we could do. Uh, Columbus Day, just before that, is a gr great example to so sh uh, uh, show support for indigenous people and their struggles. Um, there's a lot of examples of uh, things that we could do together. I think this uh, move to amend is a wonderful thing, and I think as a committee we might want to form a move to amend committee and try to think of ways that we could uh, take an action to support that. But I think we really do need to come out of here with an action and at least another date today. So I'm proposing right now that we at least come together right now before people start. We're all, we've already lost several people. What? We come together with our next meeting date. Yes. Do you have a date yeah. and time proposed? I, I don't have one proposed. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm interested in propositions. So. A week from today? October 15th. I think that's too long. Yeah, it's too long. Yeah, it's yeah, I want to do an action. But just next week. Day, so I want to have a meeting before then. Uh, who, who's on stack? Where is Kaden? I'm up here now, so I can actually see everybody. <laughs> um, although this is kind of weird and creepy, actually, I might change my mind about being here. <laughs> um, Don't do cry for me. What's that? Don't cry for me. <laughs> can I can I start a stack for talking about our next meeting? Yes. Yes. Andre. Henry, Mark, Mike, stand. Okay, in order. Okay, Friends. all right, got it. So that way we're not all shy. Over here. Okay. Sorry, I'm right. Mark, Lisa, Lisa. Anybody else? Jim. Jim and Suzanne. Anybody else? I think my childhood and I'm going to talk about that. Pardon? I think my childhood probably. Are we going to still go on the old? Um, yeah, we're going to go back to stack in a second. Okay. Um. Jim, Suzanne. Anybody else for next date of meeting? Uh, Andre, go for it. Um, I think a week from today is good uh, for a meeting of this kind. Um, I don't think we should uh, we should preempt some sort of uh, any sort of other actions that aren't decision making processes before next week. You know, if people want to get together and you know pass out flyers, do a little march, whatever. I think that's uh, okay if that's done in an individual or small group decision-making uh, system. But I think uh, this time next week for our next official decision-making meeting. Same time, same place? Same time, same place. Okay. It's good to me. Cool. Um, what else is on stack? Henry, you're actually next up. Okay. Uh, I'm with him. I, I would say make a proposal that every Saturday, I mean, say 2 o'clock, it seems to work for people, every Saturday have a meeting. Uh, as far as one specific date in the future, I would go with next week. I personally will not be here, um, but um, I'd like to see this going. Uh, I, I showed before the Global Day of Action. It's already being spread all over the world. Is Saturday, October 15th. That's two weeks. So personally, I'd like to see, like, this right here is the Buffalo General Assembly. 
I agree completely with Andre. There should be meetings every day, all over the city. There should be stuff happening every day. This is like the General Assembly, when all the different groups and all the different ideas and everything could come together. And so I propose uh, Saturday, October 8th at uh, 2 p.m. and to keep it in perpetuity until we decide otherwise. Mike, did you have a... Well, that's what I was going to say. I know that October 15th is a global day of protest, so I want to obviously show solidarity with uh, movements that we may be closely aligned with. So. All right. So I, I'm going to take a little momentary facilitator's privilege here. Um, Lisa, Jim, Suzanne, and Johnny, do you have counter proposals to next week, same time, same place? I do. All right. So I heard I do from Jim and I do from Marina. Oh, All right. Well, I do too. Okay. So Suzanne as well. Lisa, did you have a counter proposal? No, I'm fine. I, like, next okay. weekend's great. I, just, I would love to get together with people prior to that. Or, All right. Jim? Uh, my problem is that uh, next week, uh, next Saturday, is Yom Kippur, and uh, you know, can't make it at all. <laughs> okay. Do you have a counter proposal to it? Another day that might On work. Sunday. Here? Sunday. <laughs> Suzanne, do you want to speak for or against any of these days? Um. Well, I'm not clear. If anything else is going to be going on, like are, are some of these same people here going to be meeting at Casanova Park tomorrow? And if so, and then are is anybody actually planning on being here during the week? Because I came late, so I might have missed something. So that's why I'm concerned about losing momentum between now and Saturday. Just as a point of information, um, there is a proposal to come out Monday morning with signs that has not been voted on. We have not moved to pass that. Um, that's about it, really. And, uh, I mean, people are going to the thing in Casanova Park informationally to find out what's going on. Johnny. I definitely agree that we should be meeting on Saturday so far. But with these meetings, we should have goals to accommodate them, such as, okay, this Saturday, our goal is to have 300 people. And then within these 300 people, we're going to have a certain amount of signs that are going to state our mind. Uh, what I really want to say is that we should not go into these days blindfolded. We should have a goal in mind, and we should work around that goal as a whole. We need unity. We need to be on the same page. We all need to have harmony. That's all I want to say. Saturday is good. It's just it's right in the middle of the day, and we work, and it's it's we own our own business, so it's it's tough. It, it, we it's either we have to start early and end early, or else we have to start later. I mean, it's it's just wondering if it could be moved up or moved down on the clock. So do you have a counter proposal? Um, I don't know how more of a morning hour would work for people or I mean late in the day it's going to get colder so well we own it's not a business that has four walls. I, he's a general contractor and then I own stuff that's uh, real estate related so um, we just work all the time trying to pay our bills <laughs> in our taxes. <laughs> so, you know, morning would be better because otherwise, it, when it's at two, it, it's breaking. Up, it's right smack in the middle of the day, and it's hard to work around that on the other side. Is noon better? I'd say more, you know, more closer to the morning hour before that. It, it's noon be okay? Because um, I don't. I mean, like, you know, we're trying to accommodate a huge I range know, of people. I know. I think we should do a post-up meeting you know, on Facebook so people who aren't able to be here can comment. Is everybody on Facebook here? No. No? no. Okay, I refuse. so everybody's not on <laughs> so, so I want to vote that on a, on a time and a place that, because like, there's a proposal on the table, and I'm asking if you have like a specific time to put as the you know, proposal. Like 10, 11, I mean, but it, it's difficult for us, you know, middle, later of the day, I mean, middle of the day. Okay, so uh, unless there's... I just want to move forward with this proposal and just keep things flowing. So, can we vote? She had said as early as 10 o'clock. Can we get a show of hands Saturday at 10? We got some. Let's go to 11 o'clock. Got a few more. How about Saturday at noon? How about noon? Got a lot more. Do we have any blocks to Saturday at noon? Is this ongoing, you're saying? Yeah, I mean, specifically, I'm talking about the 8th and then to keep that going. Yeah. So I'm saying it's warmer in the afternoon. Yeah. Than the later you go. Yeah. That makes sense. So Saturday at noon on October 8th. Nobody objects? 
All right, so that's the next General Assembly of Buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Two decisions today. All right. I, I would like to start a, co a coffee committee. If anybody wants to get a couple bucks, I will pick up coffee, like big jugs of coffee for next okay. weekend. Uh, so if anybody wants to toss me a couple dollars now or then, that would be great. Uh, so we've made a decision about our next meeting. Uh, is there, I guess we should go back to Big Stack, eh? Well, thank you. Big Stack, everybody, sounds good? Does that sound good with the folks? Oh, oh wow, holy crap. Um, I'm going to be buying a lot of coffee. Maybe I'll even get done. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose we broaden the circle so that everyone yeah, can open the circle yeah. up again, guys. Step them. back. Uh, yeah. Sit down. I guess we'll yes. talk to Stack so I can collect coffee money for the show. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Yeah. I think we could all bring like sandwiches or something. We could attract a lot of people. Like if we made burritos, like let's have a get together with free food. People will come. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I would like to return to stack, please. Tim's gonna be my money collector. Uh, I'd like to return to stack, which is Robert, Christina, Andre, Henry, Carly, John, Josh, Nicholas, Heron, Jean, Pat, and Ed. All right. Can, I, can our next topic of discussion be able to produce? Next topic of discussion is up to Robert. Okay. We're going with Where, Stack. Where's Robert? Robert, where'd you go? <laughs> there you are. Okay. Um, I would say if, like, several people have brought up, we're going to be bringing set. Um, I would say that if, like, several people have said that we're going to be bringing several many people with us. We should definitely brief them on what has already happened and that it's peaceful and they should not be coming with the fire of hell. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, and uh, don't just bring friends and like-minded people. Bring your family, bring your kids. Don't just um, bring friends. Bring, 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 bring your family. <laughs> bring, bring, you know, bring your family, bring your old people, bring your young people. Bring good cops. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, Making shirts with with that handy dandy phrase on it would be pretty nice. The we're the 99%. 99%. Yeah, that would be pretty rad. I have stuff to make stencils. She has stuff to make stencils. And and paint. So if anybody has shirts, we can just do shirts next time and then we'll do stencil. You know what, Mr. Print? You can get a free T-shirt and stuff. You go in there. You they have free stuff. Where? Mr. You pay for the shipping. So I want to I want to form committees in a minute. We can talk about this in our committees. I want to keep things rolling and, and get to that point. Okay. It's different. <laughs> all right. So Christina passes. Andre, you are next. Yes. Um. All right. A few little things. Um. On the note uh, that we were talking about earlier about legality. Um. I. The way I have this in my mind is that we have two main systems, one being the General Assembly system and one being the actions, and I am of the personal feeling that the General Assembly should make sure that it stays very legal because we want to be able to come back and keep making decisions. If, if we want to make, uh, you know, do things like sit-ins that are on the edge or, you know, uh, uh, civil disobedience, I think that those actions, uh, we can step over the line of what's technically legal. But uh, I think that the General Assembly should remain uh, legal. The other little thing I was going to say is I think we should, what you just said, I think we should start uh, deciding who's going to be on the media team, who's going to be on the food team, yeah, and stuff like that. So I want to officialize it. Yeah. Yeah. Henry, you are next on stage. Okay, great. This is perfect. So we already voted all unanimously to promote nonviolence and to not resist arrest. I thank you very much, Andre, for specifying. I think this lets us uh, delineate now between the General Assembly is going to be nonviolent across the board. That doesn't mean that everything that happens, I mean, there's, there's going to be a huge network of stuff happening here. The nonviolent, or, or the General Assembly, this decision-making body, this congregation, is nonviolent. Like you said, we want to be as peaceful and as legal as possible and keep this going. That being said, there can be room for subcommittees, and one of the co committees in New York is direct action. They make all kinds of decisions that may or may not be legal or may be way over the line. And that's up to the direct action committee and those people participating in the actions. They may be or may not be legal. So thinking about the different parts of this, we already have some people on committees. 
I want to start forming committees and seeing who wants to volunteer and take responsibility for particular uh, assignments here. Already we have Kate is on web. Uh, yep. Who, yep. So uh, she is going to set up a Tumblr and a Twitter account. Any other? Um, I think what I'm going to try to do is just document what we've been doing, what we've been talking about. All you people who have been taking videos or photos, um, I will find either come contact me before you leave or uh, find a way to contact me through Facebook. I did like the Occupy Facebook page, but basically I just want to document what we're doing here find a way for, for us to 